Hi everyone, I'm Monique and this is your activist update. It's starting to look like we are coming out of the COVID-19 restrictions and I for one could not be happier. All four packs, San Diego, Orange County, Riverside, San Bernardino County, will start our in-person meetings again in May. Yes! That was a long, long 14 months, so keep an eye out and make sure you attend in May. In person. But don't worry, I will continue to bring our activist updates and videos and make sure you are kept up to date. So what else is going on around the county? Orange County gun owners helped out with the recall of Governor Gavin Newsom by hosting not one, but two drive through signature gathering stations. Our activists worked hard and got a lot accomplished. And even more exciting, Orange County will be at the gun show, yes, I said gun show, on March 26th, 27th, and 28th, all weekend. So come on down to the fairgrounds and help support the show. Can't make Orange County's gun show in person? No problem. Orange County Gun Owners is hosting an online auction. We have guns, ammo, accessories, vacations, and all kinds of cool stuff. Just go to ocgunowners.com slash auction. San Bernardino County Gun Owners is going to have a booth at the upcoming event at Route 66 Gun Range on May 8th and 9th. The hosts will be YouTube Second Amendment stars Anthony Miranda from Armed Scholar and Reno May. It's an all-day, two-day event called Armed in May event. Guns, shooting, food, and you get to meet Reno and Anthony. So, volunteer to help at San Bernardino County Gun Owners booth and have fun with us. Riverside County Gun Owners made an exciting announcement. RCGO is launching their hashtag NotMeRC program where the women of RCGO help other women who want to help buying a gun, getting training with a gun, and getting a California CCW. This isn't just an informational pamphlet, folks. This is hands-on help for women by women. If you know a woman who wants help buying a gun or getting training or getting her CCW, if she lives in Riverside County, she needs to check out Riverside County Gun Owners dot com slash not me rc rcgo executive director karen wood said i love seeing women power other women and what is more empowering than taking control of your self-defense i am so proud of the ladies who are helping and applying for help we can't wait to grow this program san diego county gun owners hosted john korea from active self-protection John is a trainer out of Arizona who has a YouTube channel that has analyzed over 30,000 video clips of real live defensive gun situations. I was lucky enough to do a little training with John personally and thank you so much to Gun Owners Radio and John Korea for making this event possible. Did you see Joe's blog? Joe Dramisi did a great article on the 8th annual charity shoot at Front Sight in Pahrump, Nevada. Over 200 people from Southern California got together to take four days of training and raise money for a great cause. Together, we raised over $50,000 for research to fight leukemia and lymphoma. Joe describes his experience with Front Sight and attending the charity event. Joe wrote, I chose the four-day tactical shotgun course this year. I won a Winchester 1300 shotgun from the raffle at last year's event, so the shotgun course was an obvious choice for me. I do quite a bit of handgun shooting, but have no tactical shotgun experience. I was a complete beginner on the shotgun range, but I finished the course with a solid foundation in tactical shotgun. Check it out on the blog section of your PAX website. Gun Owners Radio is having a great year. They are broadcasting live over AM 1170 in San Diego, or you can hear them on Gun Owners Radio live from anywhere on YouTube. Just go to www.youtube.com slash gun owners radio, and you can hear the show live every Sunday from 4 to 6 p.m. This month, they interviewed Ursula Williams, who is a competitive shooter from Arizona. Ursula drove in from Arizona just to hang out with everyone on the show, and she did a great job. Check it out. What was it like being 16 and, like, everybody's, you know, shot their first deer when they were, you know, whatever, a kid? Yeah. And their people, I'm sure, were carrying guns openly. Mm -hmm. What was that like seeing that? Um, it was like, I'm trying to think, because I've, I've seen a whole bunch of movies, but, like, my entire life. And so I kind of want to put it towards, like, almost Blazing Saddle-ish, <laughs> <Yeah>, <laughs> which is actually one of my favorite movies. But that going from, like, the city to the western town, yeah. you know, people open carrying. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, you know. 
Was it, was it intimidating? Was, no, it, not at all. Good. Because it was like, what? I'm not doing anything wrong to get shot in the first place. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. and he keeps his gun in the holster. Half the time they're all revolvers or 1911. Eh, it is what it is. Um, but it was, I don't know, I, I was comfort, comfortable around it. I didn't yeah. question it. It was like, ah. Oh, that's normal. So now check out the entire interview with Ursula and get all the great content from Gun Owners Radio by going to youtube.com slash gun owners radio. And don't forget to join as a member today for as little as ten dollars a month. It's the easiest way you can help restore and protect your rights in California. Thank you so much for watching. I am Monique and this is your activist update. Remember, together we will win. Without someone doing something about it, it's not going to get any better.